Oh my god, it's beautiful. A double rainbow. An actual double rainbow. Look at this. Are you kidding me? It's a, it's a double rainbow. <laughs> Hey everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Minecraft mod review where today I'm going to be showcasing the Good Night Sleep mod which is actually a really interesting mod that introduces two brand new dimensions into the game full of new items and things to discover. So today me and Traoris here, yes buddy Traoris, are going to just be chilling here near the Diamond Holiday Retreat where we are actually going to use this mod to analyse our dreams. So first off we're going to analyse my dreams and then we'll move on to Traoris's and see what What's going on in that crazy brain of his so yeah let's get to it so to craft the dream machine that I'm going to be using or also known as the luxurious bed to analyze my dreams we are going to need some hope mushrooms so there's two different types of mushrooms in this mod the hope mushroom and the despair mushroom both are incredibly rare world generation features in your overworld I have spent so long trying to find these and um, I haven't found any so you're gonna need a lot of these you're actually gonna need eight and then a bed in the middle to craft this luxurious bed but these are damn hard to find I just placed this one down here and they're gonna be found in caves I believe because you can only place them down on stone so yeah good luck finding these hope mushrooms for your luxurious bed but for now we're just gonna spawn one in and we've actually already created one haven't we um trail we've actually created one in here look is the um the diamond retreat is probably the worst little retreat you've got but it, it it's home to us isn't it trail it's home away from home so let's go through here and here we are we've got a nice cyan carpet and then we've got the luxurious bed now all we have to do is take a quick yeah, there we go yeah you get in there Trey. <laughs> look at him slamming the door in my face what is wrong with you oh no that's better. So, um, yeah, you use that as well. Just don't mind me. You're so rude today, Traoris. What is on your mind? Well, I guess we're going to find out later. But let's go analyze my dream. Come on, let's go do this. So what we need to do is just sleep. You don't need to be in the, um, in the nighttime. You can just take a quick nap and it will, um, do the magic for you. So let's do this. Traoris, are you coming in or not? Hello? Are you coming in or not? No? You're just waiting, you're just waiting till we do yours. Okay, that's very selfish of you. But you can come in if you, come on. Oh my god. Anyway, he's just going to go and play around because he's, he's an idiot. And we're just going to go to sleep and get our dreams analyzed. So, I will see you on the other side. Here we are. Wow, that was a that was a pretty weird dream. And Traoris is here. Um, I don't know how you got here, but um, you appear to be in my dream. That, that's a bit weird. So welcome to my dream, everyone. This is the um, I guess the good night sleep dimension. This is my uh, good night sleep dimension. It looks pretty damn sweet. It's fairly flat, but the interesting thing is, I didn't know if you noticed, but behind the diamond retreat, there was actually a ravine there, and there happens to be one here. And, um, yeah, it seems to kind of mimic the same kind of features, so it'll mimic the big things like ravines, or this is just insanely lucky. Either or, that sheep is having a bit of a problem there. Look at that. Tut tut, Mr. Sheep. So this mod only came out a few days ago, so it's fairly new. There are some bugs, but it's still really awesome. So let's start with some of the features of this brand new dimension. The first one are the, all the different kinds of woods. We've got some dream wood here, which looks really awesome, and um, come from the special trees, which I'll get to later on. We've also got candy ore, we've got rainbow ore, positite ore, and negatite ore. So these first three come from this biome, or this um, dimension, and if you mine the candy ore, you'll get this beautiful candy. If you mine the rainbow ore, you'll get these beautiful rainbow ingots and positite ore will give you these kind of yellow diamonds which is called a positite diamond so um this negatite doesn't actually belong here but i thought i'd show you this this actually belongs in the nightmare realm which we're going to check out later on and if you have a nightmare that is where you will end up so what we're going to do now is move on to some armor sets so with these new materials you can actually create an armor set and a um, weapon set of each so let's look in here and on the left we've got rainbow we've got candy armor on the right and we've also got positite in the middle so I think the most powerful one here is Positite. There we go. So the weakest is your candy. The candy sword has plus five attack damage. Then you've got all the tools down here as well. And then you've got the um, weakest of the armors from this new mod or the ones from the mod on the right here, which is the candy. Then you move up to, I guess it's... Yeah, go up to Rainbow, which will be the second highest. So we've got plus six attack damage, which is just below a diamond sword. And you use rainbow ingots. These are all the traditional recipes, by the way, just using the appropriate ingot. And then you've got Positite, which is very similar to diamond. So this is another way to get diamond strength stuff. 
And yeah, it looks really awesome as well, especially this rainbow one. I'm going to put this on for the rest of the review, actually. Let's put this on and check out how beautiful we look. Look, we're, we're a living rainbow. How beautiful is that? Look at that. Yes. Yes, it's beautiful. So where did Treoros go? We need to kind of explore the rest of this dimension. just want to go around and look at some of these trees. I just need to hop into game mode zero quickly. And um, we've got these mushroom trees up here. And on the right, we actually have candy trees. I did put this sign here. It doesn't grow with the sign. So what you do is you kind of just mash away at these. And it's another way to get candy from these trees. So not all the leaves are going to drop them. It's kind of like the same rate as saplings. And there you go. There's a piece of candy. And you can actually eat these. Hopefully it will waste some hunger in a minute. And we'll grab some of those. So this is another way to get candy. You can also make um, some other stuff with this candy. We've got some lollipops there. Look at that. That's beautiful. And we've got some other kind of candies. And we've also got over here, we've got some magic rainbow bushes, which we'll get to later on. And over here, we have a very special tree. We've also got um, these cyan flowers here, which are brand new. And this tree over here, this very, very big one, is different to these kind of mini trees. They look the same, but this one is actually a diamond tree. Now, don't get too excited. This will only bear you, at most, one diamond. So you need to kind of get up here and... Um, definitely mine away all these bushes because it will give you at least one diamond or one diamond is actually the maximum so you need to get up there hack away all those leaves and you will be rewarded with a diamond so it's a really cool way to just get a diamond and yeah that is pretty much it so let's move on to some more items over here after we've got our candy out of the way we actually have a couple of awesome items so in here we've just got the other ones we can craft this awesome thing called a pot of gold which will it just has an amazing effect it's a really random item but really awesome so if you take seven rainbow ingots and one block of gold and put a cauldron at the bottom you will get this which is a pot of gold so it's just kind of like a cauldron full of um, molten gold and if we put it down anywhere it will create this amazing minecraft rainbow look how incredible that is so you can put down as many of these as you like and it's just a decorative item at the minute but it just looks it's just so awesome check it out so it's just got this amazing squareness to it because obviously there's no circles or curves in minecraft let's, let's not get crazy here but look how amazing these look these look really awesome fairly expensive but i would say aesthetically they are really worth it so let's get down here and check out some more of the items in here let's just put this back in there we've also got what you can make with all of these ores are kind of like their block form so we've got the candy block which is made by using four candies rainbow by using nine rainbow ingots i believe and then we've got the positite as well and we've got this interesting thing called a present so if i put down a couple of these like this these will actually spawn randomly in your dream world so if i had to go in game mode zero and punch these you'll get a random present each time so that one we've got a diamond that one we've got an emerald and we've got some rainbow ingots. What else? We've got some rainbow seeds and some rainbow berries. So those are really, really nice loots. But do bear in mind that they are very rare. So they're not like um, ridiculously um, everywhere in this world. You have to find them. I don't know if there's any around here. Can we see any? But they will just spawn randomly and you'll be able to get... There's one just in the distance over there. You'll be able to get the cool stuff like emeralds, diamonds and rainbow um, stuff. Which is really, really cool. And I'll just show you how to make these rainbow seeds now, which I was talking about earlier. If you smash up all of these plants here, you will get these, which are rainbow seeds. And you can only hoe the ground in this dimension with a rainbow hoe or one of the hoes from that's made from the ingots and materials you find in this dimension. So let's um, just hoe up this ground here and place down some seeds and then grow them like this. And when you punch them, you will get some of these, which are rainbow berries, which are edible, which is really cool. It's just another food that you can bring home. Um, you Make sure you bring some rainbow dirt though, otherwise you won't be able to plant them, but you can bring them home when you um, do decide to wake up and have another form of food. You can also eat the candy as well. So there's one other thing I want to go over, which is one brand new mob which is this cutie look at that a baby creeper so you will come across these they won't go after you unless you hit them so let's just quickly hop back into game mode zero and i'll show you what it does don't worry though if you hit it it will just get mad explode and just disappear that, that's pretty much it that's all it does so treoris i'm ready to wake up now this is my dream analyzer and now we're going to go and do yours so i'm going to go back into here where did he even go is he stuck down here I don't know guys, I don't have a clue where he went. So let's just go back and hopefully he'll be there waiting for us so we can analyze his dream. So let's go. Right then guys, we are back and here we are next to the ravine that I was talking about. This is the ravine that looked very, very similar to the one in the dream world, but obviously with a different surrounding because the dream world is a bit more flat. But anyway, we need to get and find Traorus. Where are you? There you are playing with this duck here. Um, are you just analyzing this duck or 
I don't really know. Well, we need to analyze your dream, buddy. So let's go through here. And I don't actually, I just need you in the vicinity for this to work because I'm going to be the one that goes into this. Now, this is called the Wretched Bed. And this should analyze Traoris' dream. And we'll see where we go. So to craft this, if you do want to craft this, you need to change all of these hope mushrooms with despair mushrooms, which are also um, found randomly in your overworld. But they're also very rare too. So um, good luck finding those. But anyway, we're going to sleep in here and analyze your dream. Come on, Traoris. Let's, let's watch what's going to happen. Let's do this. Goodbye. I'm going for a nap. Oh my god. What a horrible dream. And where the hell am I? Are you kidding me, Traoris? This is actually your dream world. What is going on here? There's lava that pretty much just stays... I don't even know. It stays afloat without any support. There's lava everywhere. There's fire. This looks worse than the nether. There's actually like dead mushrooms and stuff and i think these will actually hurt you these, these are dangerous bushes my friend what where is everybody treos where are you oh my god this is not supposed to happen this happens to be the nightmare dimension this wasn't supposed to happen this wasn't supposed to happen my god look there's fire everywhere oh my god there's zombie pigmen mycelium everywhere dead just dead mushrooms floating blocks Oh my god, and yes, these do hurt. That's that that pig man just got destroyed by that bush. My god, let me just test that out again. Are you going in the bush? Go in the bush, I swear. Go in the bush! Okay, these are too smart, but I don't I don't really like being here. This is very, very creepy. Treyoros, what is why is this always going on in your head? What is seriously Oh my god. They even have they're mating. Look, there's baby pigmen here. And as you can see, that guy is having trouble with the bushes. And this is where you find um, Negatite as well, where you can build the, the Negatite armor. You can also find Netherax, Skeletons, Baby Pigmen. Traoris, your brain is absolutely messed up. You can find these mushrooms here as well. Are you kidding me? I am... Um, I need to wake up from this. I just need to pinch myself. I'm gonna... I'm gonna run... I'm gonna change game mode and run into that bush and see if I wake up. I need to wake up from this. Let's do this. Where's the bush? I'm sorry, guys. I'm out of here. Oh, my God. That dream was just... Whoa. Traoris, where are you, buddy? Traoris, where are you? There you are. Just playing. Why are you always playing with this chicken? Anyway, what's wrong with you? You have some seriously messed up dreams, man. You didn't even come with me. You're just playing with this chicken all along. You have not seen what I have seen. Don't look at me with them eyes. Don't. Don't. Well, anyway, that has been the Good Night Sleep mod. And if you like what you see and do want to play it for yourself, then please go ahead and go to the description below where you'll find a link to download this mod. It's lots of fun to mess around with and analyze your scary, scary dreams. So also, if you happen to be new to the channel, then please do subscribe for daily Minecraft videos. And if you did enjoy the video, a like would be greatly appreciated also. You can also catch me now on my Twitter and Facebook accounts in the description below too, which would be awesome. And that's pretty much it from us and our crazy trip into finding out what our dreams about so my dreams are okay and treyos has well we can just say issues for now <laughs> that was pretty crazy so yeah anyway thanks again for watching guys and i will see you all next time goodbye <laughs>